Hey what's up guys, my name is Arix and welcome to the world of Lost Ark. Arcasia awaits, a world full of mysteries, monsters, dungeons, demons and so much more. But in order to embark on your adventure, first you must make a character and choose a class and therein lies the reason behind this video. Today we're taking a look at one of the five main classes in Lost Ark, the Martial Artist, as well as the associated advanced classes to help you make up your mind for when you dive in. I want to give a quick shout out to Amazon for very kindly sponsoring this video. Don't forget, if you want to find out more about Lost Ark, you can click the link in the description box down below. Now, Lost Ark has five main classes for you to choose from. The Warrior, Martial Artist, Gunner, Mage and Assassin. And each of those classes is then broken into an array of advanced classes or subclasses to use another commonly known term. In total, between the five classes, there are 15 advanced classes, giving you plenty of ways to play the game based on your preferred playstyle. But in this video, we're going to be focusing solely on the martial artist. Martial artists are quick-footed fighters that excel at rushing down their enemy with combined attacks at lightning speeds. As masters of hand-to-hand -hand combat, they pride themselves on their quick reflexes and powerful fighting techniques. If DPS is the role that you typically gravitate towards in MMOs, and you like being up in the enemy's face, then the martial artist might be one for you to check out. Dive in, dish out fast, high damage combos with incredible flair and style, and take down your opponents with the sheer might of your bare hands. Or feet, the martial artist can kick too, and even fire giant energy beams, but more on that later. The martial artist then splits into currently one of four different advanced classes, the striker, war dancer, scrapper, and soul fist. Starting off with the striker, this class attacks enemies like a strong wind, equipped with a variety of physical attacks and fast movement, they excel at aerial combos, hitting and juggling enemies for fantastic crowd control, and then take advantage of powerful elemental skills to turn the tide in battle. At the core of the striker is the esoteric meter, your identity gauge. Your gauge fills when you perform attacks, and upon filling the various nodes, you're then granted access to an array of powerful esoteric abilities, or ultimate abilities if you like. Different abilities have different costs, and later on it is possible to extend your esoteric meter to have four nodes, but for now let's keep things simple. Attack to fill the meter, and use these nodes to do big damage. With that in mind, the striker has a somewhat burst focused playstyle, your regular attacks are quick, deal decent damage, and can combo enemies nicely, but really you're playing around your big damage moves and cooldowns. Of course, one of the great things about Lost Ark are just how amazing some of your moves look. Naturally, you may gravitate towards certain moves end game for high damage combos, but to call out a few cool looking moves, you have Tiger Emerges, where you advance forward, inflict fire damage, then perform an upward attack which sees a flaming tiger appear at the ground. Storm Dragon Awakening is the Street Fighter special, Tiger knee your enemies in the jaw, you jump, spin your body, then kick to inflict devastating damage on your foes. You can then press the key again to follow up with a downward strike. And the Moonflash Kick is a great way to tackle multiple enemies. You dash forward in this swift motion, following that with a flurry of kicks that pummel the enemy into the dust. In addition to your vast array of skills, you also have your two Awakening abilities to choose from. The first of which is Explosive Heat Awakening, which will see you advance forward and then dish out four explosive strikes, creating this huge, devastating, flaming impact. Meanwhile, your other option is True Heavenly Awakening, which sees you gather powerful energy in your legs whilst performing this majestic sweeping motion, only to follow up with two devastatingly powerful kicks. Moving on from there, next up we have the War Dancer. This advanced class isn't merely a master of martial arts, they are also capable of augmenting their lightning quick fighting styles with elemental power. They have the ability to store up elemental energy and then unleash it in these devastating attacks and gravity defying maneuvers. The core of the Wardancer is actually very similar to that of the Striker. The Wardancer too has an esoteric meter, which fills when you perform attacks, and those gauges can then be used to perform esoteric attacks. So again, the Wardancer has a burst focus playstyle revolving around building meter and pulling off big damage moves. However, it is worth noting one of the preferred ways to play this class as you move towards the end game revolves around an inscription that actually stops your gauge generation, and instead sees you focus much more on applying your buff and debuffs, and then using your high damage skills to dish out as much damage as possible in a short window. If you intend to go down this route, which tends to be the favourite for Wardancers, then the skills Roar of Courage and Wind's Whisper will be important to you. The former will debuff the enemy and drop their crit resistance, meanwhile the latter will buff your party, increasing attack and move speed. The Sweeping Kick is a very powerful burst damage move, which can sweep enemies off their feet, juggle them and allow you to deliver a follow up devastating blow. The Lightning Kick is another fun move to use, seeing you deliver a flurry of kicks inflicting lightning damage and finishing up in a powerful strike that calls lightning down from the heavens above. Of course, you also have your Awakening skills too, the first of which is Flash Rage Blow. This is a holding skill that will see you dash forward, dish out a flurry of vicious strikes and end in a huge powerful shockwave knocking enemies back. Letting go of the key before the meter maxes out also releases a shockwave. 
Alternatively, you have Fist of Dominance, which is an incredible looking move. With this, you use the power of the elementals to pull enemies close. You then dash within this bubble up to six times, striking as you go, and finish up in a huge energy explosion. Definitely one of my favorite moves from a visual point of view. Then moving on from there, you have the Scrapper. Armed with a heavy gauntlet, Scrappers draw on two inverse forms of attack energy that feed off of each other in order to deliver non-stop destruction. They have excellent attack, defense, mobility, and overall lasting power, making them a very balanced pick, capable of throwing enemies off guard. So if you really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with your enemies, but also take a few beatings at the same time and still live to tell the tale, the Scrapper has the tools. At the core of the Scrapper is a rather interesting balance meter. You have two gauges, the Stamina Gauge and the Shock Energy Gauge. The first is yellow, the second is green. You'll also notice that your skills are also either yellow or green. But super simply, using yellow skills will consume stamina and build green meter, and using green skills will consume green meter and build yellow. So what you essentially have with the Scrapper is this back and forth gameplay where you're using both sets of skills to maintain both meters. Your stamina skills are typically much faster and can provide buffs, meanwhile your shock skills are much slower, sometimes have cast times but do result in big damage. It's also worth noting the Scrapper has lots of stagger and impairment and can even buff teammates to increase their impairment to help stagger bosses, so they are a great addition to any team. A few cool moves I enjoy using include the Chain Destruction Fist, which sees you smash the ground to shake the earth up to four times with the last strike knocking foes back. Death Sentence will see you generate energy in this ball in front of you before releasing it in a high damage blast, either eviscerating your opponents or sending them flying. You then have your Awakening skills, the first of which is the Undefeated Dragon King, another favourite move of mine since it sees you leap into the sky and summon two flaming dragons that dive bomb the enemy in this huge explosion that sees the ground erupt. Alternatively, you have Blast of Ruination, where you focus all your energy in this giant energy gauntlet, which you then punch forward, resulting in energy waves being dispersed and the ground cracking. Then finally, the last of the four advanced classes is the Soul Fist. The Soul Fist switches between melee and ranged attacks, which can be used together for explosively powerful combos. They channel a special energy called Adamants, which they can imbue into their abilities or use to sustain themselves through fights. So if you want a mix of both martial arts and mystical abilities, then the Soul Fist offers some great variety. At the core of the Soul Fist is the Chi Meter. As part of your identity, pressing Z will buff you up, increasing your energy regeneration, reducing skill cooldowns, and increasing attack speed and damage. There are three levels to this. The first one lasts longest, but has the smallest buffs. But with each subsequent press, the buffs increase and the duration decreases. So the idea here is you use it until it's almost out, then jump to the next level, rinse and repeat, and naturally use this window to dish out high burst damage. The Soul Fist has a lot of very cool looking moves. Heavenly Squash will quite literally summon a massive spirit-like palm from the sky to squash enemies. Deadly Finger essentially turns your finger into a gun while you thrust energy into the sky, hitting multiple times. Or even Magnetic Palm, where you smash the ground, draw enemies into the energy field, and then explodes. But your awakening abilities are where you really shine. One of the biggest damage moves for the Soul Fist is World Decimation. You leap into the sky and begin concentrating energy before throwing down this huge spirit bomb-like energy ball that does incredible damage on impact. Alternatively, you have Decimation Ray, where you hold the button down and fire a powerful concentrated energy beam. Then once you finish, you fire a secondary beam where a comrade spirit appears behind you to lend you further energy for even greater damage. So there you have it, that's a quick look at the Martial Artist and the four advanced classes. They are all fantastic picks offering excellent damage output, with the added bonus of allowing you to combo, juggle and just in general take out your enemies with flashy fighting moves. Again massive shout out to Amazon for very kindly sponsoring this video, don't forget to click the link in the description box down below if you want to find out more about Lost Ark, and of course keep it locked on the channel for more Lost Ark content. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.